Hello everyone, welcome to your friends. Welcome to Scholarship Network Guide official YouTube channel. Welcome on my laptop screen. Royal Thai Government Scholarship 2021. Asian Institute of Technology. This university is offering the different academic fields for master and PhD degree. Science, Engineering, Energy, Molecular Biology, Bioinformation Technology, Thai Scholarship. Thai Scholarship will offer. Uh, Thai Scholarship will cover all your expenses like. And uh, applicants from all over the world are eligible for this scholarship. The university ranking first in Thai. Why Malaysia is on 14 number ranking. For more details, please visit this video till end and don't skip. Royal Thai Government Scholarship 2021 offering university is our host university is Thailand Asian Institute of Asian Institute of Science and Technology degree level is master and doctoral degree financial coverage fully funded and deadline is 20 February 2021 scholarship programs the Asian Institute of Technology manages a large number of Doctoral and master level scholarship provided by the Royal Thai Government RTJ. This is a qualified candidate with an excellent qualification. This is for qualified candidates with an excellent academic qualifications. Scholarship provide an opportunity for the students of diverse backgrounds from all over the world to study and conduct research work together in Thailand. The available field for Master and PhD programs School of Environment, Resource and Development, Development and Sustainability, Gender and Development Studies, Natural Resources Management, Regional and Rural Development Planning, Urban Environmental Management, Urban Sustainability Planning and Design. Department of Food, Agriculture and Bioresources include Agribusiness Management, Agriculture System and Engineering, Aquaculture and Aquatic Resource Management, Food Engineering and Bioprocess Technology, Food Innovation, Nutrition and Health. The Department of Energy, Environment, and climate change includes the following categories sustainable energy transmission transition environmental energy and management climate change and sustainable development regenerative sanitation marine development of civil and infrastructure engineering includes you can apply for construction, engineering, infrastructure management, geotechnological and geotechnological and earth resource engineering, geosystem and exploration and patrolling, geoengineering, structural engineering, transportation engineering, water engineering and management. You can apply for Hundred the and you can apply for all these subjects under the Department of Civil and Infrastructure Engineering. In the Department of Information and Communication Technology, you can apply on these subjects: Computer Science, Data Science, and AI, Information Management. Remote sensing and geographic information system, telecommunication, information and communication technology, IT, Internet of Things, and systems engineering, IT system engineering. And you can apply for the Department of Industrial System Engineering under these categories. Biodynamic material science and engineering and electronics, industrial and manufacturing engineering, nanotechnology, microelectronics and embedded system, data science and AI, IoT, Internet of Things, system engineering, and school of resource 
School of Environment and Resource Department. You can apply for disaster pre preparedness and medication and management, urban water management and management, urban water engineering and management, and you can apply in the Department of Management, School of Management. Business Administration MBA, International Executive MBA, International EMBA, MASC in International Finance, MASC in Business Analytics and Digital Transformation, Financial Awards, University and University the King's Scholarship for PhD program. You can institute offers a different type of scholarship for the different programs like. Majesty King's Scholarship for PhD program. You can apply to this scholarship in this university and Majesty the King's Scholarship for Master program. It means Majesty the King's Scholarship offer for Master and PhD program both. And Majesty the Queen's Scholarship for MS program and Lom Nom Kong HI GMS scholarships. For the MS program, what are the benefits for by this scholarship? Asian Institute Scholarship in Thailand will provide the following benefits to us international students. There will be no university fees, free monthly stipend, travel expenses for presenting at conferences, sport facilities, and study activities. You will gain the opportunities for collaborating with the research institutes and free accommodation. I think so. It's a fully funded scholarship. It's a better for you to apply for this scholarship. If you have any question and if you have any difficulty, definitely I will help you. You can comment on this video. I will definitely try to answer your question. And you can also contact my Instagram account or Facebook page. If you are new on my channel, please like and subscribe my channel to encourage my work for the students. Eligibility criteria for this scholarship. Eligibility and required documents for this scholarship. You must be Bhutan and Thailand less the Asian countries and other Asian country students are eligible for this scholarship. You must be from these countries and have an outstanding education record in four year undergraduate program and two year master program from aggregated institute in related field. It means if you are applying for the master program, then you must then your under degree must be with a good score and if you are applying for a PhD program then your undergraduate and master degree program must be with a good score I think so it's also mentioned that must be more than 3 CGPA and CGPA of bachelor and master that is also mentioned here the GPA of both bachelor and master must be more than 3.5 and two letter of recommendation I already mentioned in the different videos that you can get this scholarship that you can get these recommendation letters from your professor of your previous degree that already have you supervised or who have taught any course that he or she knows you personally because when you will take the recommendation letters from the professor the university will contact with the professor about your recommendation letter that he recommended you for the scholarship. So I will suggest you please make a good template of this recommendation letter because you are applying for international scholarship. And research proposal, as I already mentioned, the research proposal is a key, a key to success and to win this scholarship. So I will suggest you please first of all you must visit the university website and after that you will try to read the uh, profiles of different professors 
and try to find your professor related to your research or your interest. Then, then read the five year latest uh, research background papers and try to find try to find the best professor for your PhD or master degree program. And here is the English proficiency is uh, very important. Have an English proficiency score is required by AIT Asian Institute of Technology Language Center IELTS six band or oral writing band six and AIT EET more than six bands. How you can apply for this scholarship? Application fees is twenty five dollars. Very important. You need to apply. You need to pay all your application fees. Of when you will apply for this scholarship, you need to apply. You need to pay this twenty-five dollar application fees. After this, university will process your application for the further process. So no need to send the hard copies. Just to apply online and wait for the result. And uh, let let's know how you can fill this form on university website. Our website, our portal, and the application process is online, as I already mentioned, and simple online application form. So, uh, to apply for this scholarship, you can click on this link, and you will get the more information. I will, I will, I will tell you how you can, how you can fill the form in details uh, at the end of this video. Just click on this link. And after that, here we are on the portal of the university, as you know, AIT. And read here if you want to get more information. Like you can get more information like admissions, eligibility criteria, process deadline for 2020 scholarship, and expenses scholarship. If you have any question, you can uh, click on FAQ. Now I think all your questions, if you have, uh, will be solved. And if you did not understand something, you can ask me, and I will try to help you. So apply if you want to apply for this scholarship. Then you need to click here on this link. I uh, click on apply. Then you will see this type of interface, and and click on the here. Then you will click here. The click on the new application. Continue. Let's see here. You can find here when you will click on apply. Then this interface will be open. Then before you are applying, you just need to read all the instructions carefully so that you can process your application correctly and easily. Please read all the instructions carefully. When you are begin to application process, you will be requested to provide a password that will allow you to return your file any time before submitting the application. It means you must uh, try to remember your password and login so that you can uh, login any time uh, for to make any correction. If you have if you have any mistake, you can correct. On online portal. Uh, note, note a non refundable application process fees, as I already mentioned, $25. Uh, 800 is required on online application. If you don't choose an online payment, please fill in the application processing fees payment. Notification form is also available on this uh, website. You can and your application is valid for one year. When you apply for a uh, portal, then your application will be uh, eligible or valid for one year. However, an application fees is required for every re application. Apply if you reapply, then reapply, then again $25 will be charged. If you have a question with your application, please try to contact with admission office for assistance. So please select one of the following already registered 
then you can choose and if you have a new application then need to click here i want to start on new application and if you have already then i want to continue with the set application then click here click on i want to make a new application and continue when you will continue sign up for here and you will see you will need to you will need a password every time you wish to access or modify any of your information please choose something you can easily remember your password must be between 8 to 12 characters and consist of combines of upper lower case letters digits and special characters so i already as I mentioned here, I already signed up so for information. So you will need to put here your email address, password, and repeat password, and legal name. Click here and choose you if you are doctor, and then you need to doctor, Mr., Mrs., and something. Title and first name, and is the middle name, and Salim is the last name. When you will submit the registration process will be completed after the email confirmation. When you will click on this, then you will receive an email on your email ID. Then you need to confirm. Then you will confirm. Then after confirmation, then you will receive an email. You need to click on this uh, link. You will definitely confirm and after the confirmation click on the form click here if confirmation will be successful registration process will be completed you have successfully created an account in AIT in online admission system so click continue here you can click here to fill the form and please remember the following login details so that you can return any time to complete the application user name is here so click on continue and personal information when you will click then application form will, form will be open then you need to upload here your pic with a white background and after that you need to fill all your basic information like your first name middle name and last name and select the order in which you want your name to be appear on all on all EIT documents you can choose here what you want to I think so you should choose according to your country uh, requirements yeah, like my, in my country like Dr. Muhammad Asmatullah is okay if you have any difficult or if you have any different uh, way to um, document, so you can choose here. So if you want last name, middle name, and first name, you can choose. If you need, if you want to choose first name, middle name, and last name, it's okay. When you will choose, then the next information will be print mail address, your house number box. Your box number you must fill here, the building name, street, district, province, and city you are living, and where you need to click and choose your country, and, and, and postcode, and telephone, and fax. The email address, you already, you already put, you already registered, so will be show here, the gender, male or female, and other, and date of birth and the place of birth which is your city or town province country origin civil status single marriage if you are married no so number of children must be right here and nationality you are a country region of citizen you need to choose here if you have a double nationality or dual nationality you can choose here and here is more information about your qualification, academic qualifications. 
you can choose or you first initiate family to attend the university at any level yes if you are if you have any elder brother you can choose no if you are first person then you need to consent go yes okay do you have any form or disability then you need to if you don't have disability you have you are healthy then you need to click here the no and privacy statement an Asian Institute of Technology is committed to protecting their privacy and all student personal data shall be held in strictest confidence by the Office of the Student Affairs Office. For this purpose, only it is helpless with the Institute Privacy Policy. So, you need to save your personal information and click on the next portion like academic qualification. Unofficial, what documents are required for your uh, application? An official transcript of academic record from each college or university and must be submitted together with all information documents and university attested copies are required once admission is confirmed. Okay? Uh, I think so if you are applying to international uh, you are applying to international level so I will suggest you to uh, verify your documents from your both IBCC and your HEC Higher Education Commission and after that Ministry of Education Ministry of Foreign Affairs then we need to upload all the required document. The applicant for the doctoral program please also submit a research proposal of two to five pages and you uh, you may be requested to forward a copy of your master thesis for the evaluation. It's a very important. And you can fill all your required information like year of graduation and what was your university name and the degree name and degree title. What about your, if you have any additional documents, you can click here and you can add more and more documents. And how about is English language proficiency, you need, you must need to attach your English proficiency letter. If you still, a uh, very important note right here, if you still have no English score, select online ETT, EET, R E E T by partners, R E E T by L C R schools, and enter in the score field. After the please contact. You can if you have any uh, required documents, you can upload here. Then you need to click on next. Then you will click on next. Then you will see here the your plan for study. Indicate the school and academic program. Which program you are applying? You can choose here your school, then your program, and select the degree. Which are your degree you are applying for? Master degree, or uh, you are applying for bachelor degree, and what program you are applying? And so, which term or semester you are applying? And I only mentioned that you, uh, if you are applying on after seven semester, you can, you must choose here. As I only mentioned that, uh, do you wish to apply for unified program? Means you are up, you are one, you want to apply only for the master degree, then you can click here and confirm about this unified program. Apply available on apply to be only to those applicants recommended by our partner universities like JNTUK, JNTUH, and CAB. Unified program you can apply from. If you are if you are from this university qualified, you can choose here unified program. The applicant for the doctoral program please also submit a research proposal of 5 to 10 pages and you may be requested to forward a copy of your master thesis for evaluation. So uh, I, will, I will request to send your thesis uh, of uh, abstract. We can, uh, you can send your uh, research proposal 
as early you have completed your degree and applicant under the special exchange or joint to degree agreement or your home university. Professional qualification if you have any and how about your financial support? AIG offers a financial assistance. I only mentioned that it's a fully funded scholarship on a competitive base. This is to applicant who are outstandingly qualified. Do you need a financial assistance? Definitely international students require this financial assistance. So, strongly click on yes. So, on professional qualification, if you have, please indicate your experience. If applicable, and please submit your detailed resume and additional document if applicable indicated here. If you have any, you can choose and you can post your all experiences here. It's a very important part and it's a very good for you. You can you can do all your previous research and job experience and if you have any. Any experience you can mention in your CV, so you can paste here. Please submit your detailed resume and additional documents if indicated. And you must need to read all these instructions. Define your purpose. Define your purpose in studying at IIT and descri describe how your career objectives would be enhanced by pursuing graduate studies at IIT. That's very important. You may also use this portion to supply additional information which you believe is necessary to support your application. And second one is if uh, if you have if you have not been employed since you left university, please describe your professional activities during this period. This is very important. And so, uh, third, and third one is, and um, please list the titles of publications if you have, and major papers, and the these of which you are author, co-author, if any, if published, you can cite it. It's uh, very important if you have any publication, you can mention here. We list scholarship prizes, honors, awards, and uh, recognition if you have. I think so every student have one of these if you have any any honor, prize, award or scholarship you can. And please list the membership in honor societies and professional organizations. I think so every student also participated in a different societies at a university level. So you need to mention it will enhance your application, your chances of admission and scholarship. And if you have any documents of above, you can upload here to click on add and file description. You must need to write the file name, which document you are uploading. And recommender or reference details, it's a very important. So, referee 1 or referee 2, like uh, referee, uh, what, is the, what is your professor or referee name, and what is the position he is. Associate assistant or full professor organization. If you are if you are employer, so you need to apply here and uh, which organization uh, of your boss or uh, your professor is uh, working. Either he is uh, a private organization or he is uh, doing in a uh, government organization. So mention here the mailing address of your supervisor, email address, confirm email address and telephone and fax number. So when you will save your, then your professor will receive an email, then he can, he can reply to the university about your, your recommendation. An additional supporting document can be uploaded after the submission of your application to OIT if required by us. Please read all of the following signs. I understand, I understand that with holding the pertinent information are requested in this application form, I uh, give false information, you make an illegal 
make me ineligible for admission to the Asian Institute of Technology. I will face immediate dismissal from the institute with test of my knowledge. I clarify, I certify that the information contained in this application is true, complete and accurate. So I need to click on submit. Thanks for joining us. If you have any question, you can ask me on your Instagram account or Facebook page, Scholarship Network Guide Official. I will provide official link of these social links in my video description. Please like, subscribe. Please like and subscribe Scholarship Network Guide Official YouTube channel and press the bell icon for further information. So, Allah.